Hey guys, what's up? Noel the Nintendo Nerd here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Nintendo Direct that just aired a couple, well for me it was a couple minutes ago. So I was going to give my opinions on it to continue on this Opinions On series. So let's get right into it. So they started off strong, a new Super Smash Bros. character reveal, Little Mac from Punch-Out. It's awesome. I was just thinking earlier today, it's so weird, I was thinking earlier today they need to put Little Mac in Punch-Out. I was watching um, the Game Grumps episode of Punch-Out, and I was just like, they really need it. It just makes sense for him to be in Smash. I mean, he was an assist trophy in Brawl, and he seems to be a fighter. And then, boom, it, he gets announced today. That's pretty ironic. And then you see the boxing stage that we actually saw in the first trailer we got last um, E3, and I was like, wait. They just kind of gave it away. It was kind of a hint. I'm, I don't know if people were speculating about that beforehand, but it was, it was like, oh, wait. It was there the whole time, I don't know. But Little Mech was like an awesome fighter. I really like how he looks. He doesn't look exactly like how he looked in the Punch-Out Wii game, but it's just, he's a great addition. It just makes sense, and it's really, really fun to have him there. Then they went on to talk about Mario Golf World Tour. I have no interest in that game at all, so uh, I think they talked about a story mode, and you can play as your me, and you can put on, put on like different hats and accessories from like Nintendo characters, like for me, Specifically, I remember the Diddy Kong hat that you could put on your me. I mean, Diddy Kong's my favorite Nintendo character, so that's what stood out to me. I had no interest in that game at all. I think we got our release date. Yeah, May 2nd. Uh, cool, but I don't really care. Then we found out more about Kirby Triple Deluxe. It got a release date the same day as the Mario Golf World Tour, May 2nd. That's awesome. The game looks like a lot of fun. I'm not a huge Kirby fan, but it looks... I, I might pick it up. If it gets, like, amazing reviews or something like that, I might get. Yeah, I know it's already out in Japan, and I hear I, just, I hear great things about it. So like, well, is it really this good? I mean, it kind of seems like it's getting more praise than your normal Kirby game. So if it is as good as it's kind of being made out to be, I probably will pick it up. It looks really, really cool. And then Pokemon Battle Troze was revealed, a sequel to Pokemon Troze from the DS back in like 2005. I would have never seen this game coming. It's a puzzle kind of Tetris and Candy Crush game. It's better than Candy Crush. Um, you match up like four or five Pokemon faces in a row and then make matches and stuff, but this time they're adding like a, you're battling Pokemon and you catch Pokemon feature things, so you're, while you're doing that, you're also battling a Pokemon and then you're like, you're catching them as you connect them and I don't know, it, I need to look at it again. But it looked interesting, um, I don't know if I'm gonna get it right away, maybe sometime, but I don't know if it's gonna be a day one purchase for me. Uh, Pokemon Troze was, it was fun. But I don't know if, I, I'm not a huge puzzle person, so I don't know if I'll be getting that day one. But it, lo it looks cool. And then this is where the Direct kind of started losing its, you know, like, excitement. Like, we were so excited for this. We've been waiting for a Direct. We needed a Direct for, since, what, December. Uh, the investor meeting showed that they have these plans. They're going to fix Wii U and stuff. And this was, this Nintendo Direct was their chance to show that what they're going to do to make that plan work. I don't think they did that. Now, I'll, I'll get into my overall thoughts at the end, but here's where they went after that. Two 3DS free-to-play games, uh, a sequel to Steel Diver, uh, which was a launch game on the 3DS back in 2011. I think they're kind of focusing on the first-person aspect, but it's still not like a no, your normal first-person shooter game. It's like, it's submarine, so it's like a submarine slowly comes by your screen, and you're like, boom, oh, yeah, did it, uh, who cares? free to play and that's a step in the right direction for the 3DS that's always nice uh we'll see if it actually turns out to be good Rusty's Real Deal Baseball N no comment I don't really it was interesting how like there's this thing you play it for free and then there's like this guy at a shop and if you want to buy the full version of the game like you can like kind of try to make him put lower the price down on the actual price you can you pay for the game so like it starts at $4.99 somehow you can like negotiate with him to get the price I think I want it to like extremely low or significantly low and they didn't even show the like a, a possible um, different price because they put like a question mark over it so who, I don't know how low this is gonna be it's like maybe a dollar or less I, that would be nice it's a, it's a cool thing they're doing but that's the only thing that stood up to me I don't even know if I want to buy the game in the first place but it's a cool aspect that they're putting on it Inazuma 11, which is some weird RPG soccer thing. I I hate soccer. Like out of all, I don't. I'm not a big fan of sports in general. But soccer is like at the very, very bottom. I hate soccer. 
So, uh, RPG soccer anime type game, I, I don't care. I guess I think it came out today. I think it's available on the 3DS eShop now. Uh, if soccer and RPGs are your thing, you go and buy it, but I was just like, whatever. And then Weapon Shop de Omaze, which was some RPG, like, customization thing. It didn't stand out to me. All I can remember is this aspect where you're a blacksmith and as you're, um, you can like improve your swords by making them better and you do it like by doing this tap game on your 3DS, like I think it's goes to the music. Um, nice. I'm definitely not going to be getting that. I just don't care. They moved away from the 3DS eShop games, which I was glad they did. They moved into Wii U eShop. And first up was NES Remix 2. Now I haven't played the first NES Remix that came out a couple months ago, uh, mostly because the games that are, you know, the mini games, the actual like 17, 18 games that you're playing, I'm not too familiar with, uh, and I just, NES games don't hold up as well today. So I was just like, I don't, if, maybe if they have some different games, if they make a sequel, I'd get it, or an SNES Remix, which would be amazing. Um, I was like, yeah, I'd give it a try, and now NES Remix 2 is here, and it has a lot more, you know, like, games that came out at the end of the NES era. Super Mario Bros. 3, Zelda 2, Kirby's Adventure, uh, Metroid, stuff like that. You know, more of the popular games, because the first one, we kind of focus on, like, you know, like, first-generation NES games. Now this is going to be doing, like, the last, you know, popular-generation NES games, and that, it looks a lot, like, a lot of fun. I'm going to give it a try. Finally, we got some news about Virtual Console, but... It's not what I was ex hoping for. They're, they 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 talked about GBA last year on the January Direct, and now they're like, okay, it's gonna happen in this spring, and for sure it's gonna have Metroid Fusion, uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Bros. Advance 3. And yeah, that was it. Uh, a step in the right direction. I'm gonna be doing a different opinions on about my stance on Wii U and Virtual Console because. I, it's it's bad. It's really bad. But having GBA games is is good. It's nice. Uh, I already have Metroid Fusion on my 3DS from the Ambassadors program, but I am excited about Superstar Saga because I never got around to playing that. But I still would prefer having Nintendo 64 games coming soon. It, it makes more sense. Game Boy Advance. It made more. It, it belongs on the 3DS. We should, I'd love to have Nintendo 64 games on my gamepad. Playing Ocarina of Time or Super Mario 64, it'd be awesome. Then we have a new Mario Kart 8 trailer. Uh, he, I want to said we have some new characters that you might not expect. So I was thinking like big, like oh, are they gonna put Kirby like or Link stuff like that? Uh, no, all eight Koopalings are in the game. Cool. I really hope they don't take the you know because the whole character roster is. Not too big, and I hope these, this now it's just eight Koopaling characters. They, it's not like they're all really, really unique. I don't want them taking a big chunk out of the roster. I hope there's still a, a, you know, a big enough roster to have some other cool new characters, because Koopalings are not my top priority. We also got a release date for Mario Kart 8, finally, May 30th. A great way to, you know, kick off the summer. Smart move on their part. Can't wait to get the game. It's, it, it looks amazing. This trailer really, really showed it off well. It just keeps looking better and better every single time we see it. We also got to see more of Monolith X, or did they even call it by that name? That, that's what it was called before, I don't remember. Um, from the makers of Xenoblade Chronicles, it looks really, really cool. Action RPG, um, I've been playing Final Fantasy XII lately, it reminded me of Final Fantasy XII. We still don't know a lot about it, but we do know a lot more than we did the last time. We got to see a pretty like three minute Game Blade trailer, and it was cool. Uh, still not a release date. I don't think it will be coming for sure not this year. Maybe next year. Maybe 2016. I don't know, but it looks cool. Um, I'm more excited for it than I was before. We got a quick Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze trailer. Uh, comes out next week, and I cannot express my excitement for that game. You can probably already tell. My excitement is through, through the roof. It's going to be amazing. Glad they didn't focus on that too long but they still didn't make use of the time they had before. I cannot wait until next week. Then finally, we got to see more Bayonetta 2. I was happy we saw more Bayonetta 2. All I really cared about was a release date. I already know the game looks amazing. Looks great. Uh, all I really was wanted is a release date. We got available like 2014, that's all. At least it's coming this year, but I would have liked a release date. Nintendo had a big opportunity here, and I think they totally missed it. Last year, the first direct of the year has huge announcement, E3 level announcements. And I was hoping we would get something like that because the Wii U really needs it right now. I don't think we got anything like that at all. This was really underwhelming for me. 
And you know, I wanna. You disappointed me. I mean, you should have just showed up in Ten Dogs Benny. Come on, I need Nintendo Dogs Benny. That's all I have to say about that. What do you guys think of the Nintendo Direct? Were you? Did you think it was awesome? I mean, I thought it was underwhelming. But, well, I want to know what you think. Leave a comment down below. If you're new to my channel and like what you saw here, you can click that subscribe button down below to find out when I upload new videos. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. It takes one second. It helps me out a lot. And as always, you can follow me on Twitter at KnowTheNerd. I'm always on there chatting with you guys, and it's a lot of fun. That's all for today, you guys. So I'll see you again soon. Till next time. Take it easy.